Hello Isopod fans, this is Wally with Supreme Isopods coming to you once again with another Isopod setup review. This is a really cool one. Great job with this setup. I have a couple of suggestions. Stay tuned. The Isopod Vlog Hey Supreme Gecko fans, how do you like the new sign from Ken? I hung it up, hopefully I can point to it right here over my left shoulder, or is it my right shoulder on the video? I don't know. Anyways, thank you very much, Ken, for that sign. We're doing another, I'll try to stay out of the way here so I don't hide the sign. This is coming from Nick Leone. Great setup, but I, again, I do have a couple of suggestions for the Sisopod setup. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Let me put my headset on and plug in so you don't hear double sounds here. And here we go. So here we have our Parcelia Levi's Dairy Cow. They are currently being kept in a tote that is 15 and a quarter by 11 and a half by six inches tall. You can see we've got our one, one inch ventilation hole here. I'll probably end up adding side ventilation as well. Let's stop right there. The tub is a 15 quart. I like uh, these bigger tubs, especially for uh, dairy cows, because the dairy cows are going to just explode on you, especially how you have this uh, set up, Nick. It looks great so far. The ventilation, you're right. You have a one inch hole at the on the top. I would suggest maybe putting another one or even two more holes on the top here. You, said you made the uh, comment that you're putting ventilation holes on the sides. That'll be perfect. Uh, you might want to put a couple, three holes, one on each side and one on the, uh, the back end of it too. Let's keep going. If we open this baby up, we've got our humid hide over here with sphagnum moss. We can see they're doing pretty well. Uh, the substrate is Sphagnum moss mixed with topsoil, mixed with play sand, mixed with a forest floor. Let's take a look at that substrate. Let's talk about that. That's a really good mix. You've got a lot of good products in there that uh, the isopods will need. Just perfect. You have the cork bark over the moist side, the moist area. That's one. And that, that's going to work. What I would suggest also is that you put a hide over the dry side as well. You'll find that the dairy cows will migrate to both sides. You might even want to take that a new hide and expand it from one end to the other, from the dry side over to the moist side. I find by doing that, the dairy cows will, will go back and forth between the moist side and the dry side. Let's keep going. And on the drier side here, we have magnolia leaves and I need to purchase more magnolia seed pods. The magnolia seed pods, that's going to be a great hide. I would, if, if it were my setup, I would have a bigger hide rather than smaller hides. Again, these dairy cows are just going to expand like crazy on you. And I tell you what, you want as many hides in here as you possibly can get. Uh, the magnolia leaves, I've used magnolia leaves and it takes a long, long, long time for the dairy cows, for any isopods, to eat through those leaves. I highly recommend that you find a hardwood leaf that you can put in there, like oak or maple or something like that. You can keep the magnolia leaves in there, but I would strongly suggest that you use a, a hardwood leaf in, in the setup as well. Let's keep going. These guys are doing awesome. They're being fed um, protein like shrimp, freeze-dried minnows. They're getting veggie scraps uh, like spring mix That's good. and freeze-dried peas. Let me know what you think, Wally, and let me know if there's anything I can improve. And I appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, Nick. Again, I think this is a great setup. Uh, you mentioned the food just now. Uh, that's an excellent choice for foods. A good variety. You've got a lot of proteins. These dairy cows are going to go through tons and tons of protein for their food. As you'll, you probably already know, as you certainly will know shortly, they just go through a lot of protein. So keep that protein coming in. The dried minnows, the shrimp. Um, I've used dried mealworms. Uh, anything that you can find to put in there for a protein source, you can use that. 
Again, this is a great setup. I'm trying to come up with some suggestions other than the ventilation, other than the hide. Make sure that you have calcium. I don't know if I saw the calcium in there. Make sure you have eggshells or calcium carbonate or cuddle bone or something like that as a uh, calcium source. The moist side, again, I keep saying this in any every one of these isopod setup reviews, it's hard for me to know if that moist side is really moist or not. It looks like the sphagnum moss is a little dry, but make sure that that's really moist, uh, that you have a lot of moisture in there. Good lockable tub. Everything looks good. I, I would give this a green, yellow, a couple of little tweaks, but in a month or two's time, you're going to have babies all over this tub. Great job with it, Nick. Thank you, everyone, for joining in today. I hope that you, at, you gained some uh, information, some knowledge, some education from this video. I really appreciate your support and watching. Make sure you put a comment in the comments below because that will qualify you for the end of the year giveaway. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you subscribe and give it a big thumbs up. Thank you everyone for watching.